this World Cup has really shut down the haters. So we met 2010, nobody knows who the Black Ferns are. We're told you will never be paid. We're told we're not giving you Eden Park for the World Cup. We'll give you somewhere that holds 5,000 because you're not going to sell it out. Not only did women's rugby prove the doubters wrong, this tournament was bigger and better than anyone could have imagined. The final sold out Eden Park. 40,000 packed into Eden Park. Three's free-to-air coverage of the game broke records with 1.2 million New Zealanders watching. Crowds up in Taitokoro, 16,500 on the bank at Okata Park, amazing. And then the groundswell goes from there and uh, 42,000 odd at Eden Park on Saturday night, just the culmination of a wonderful six weeks. We need to stop being surprised about these numbers. Like we know every time we give our women a platform, they smash it and they're delivered it again. They're always going to. So now let's plan for it rather than being surprised by it. And it wasn't just the ladies. The appeal of the tournament transcended gender, age and culture. Three parts to that. Obviously the little kids, they're loving it, they can come along. For women, it's the first time that they're getting to see themselves in that jersey. Now we see versions of ourselves out there and we can connect to that. And for the men, hey, it's a bit of nostalgia, just like the men's game used to be uh, in the early 90s. So those three bits together, that equals magic. The quality of the footy was great, the occasion was great, and on those crowds again, what colour and energy did they give to this tournament? The rugby itself was action-packed, no time to even dash to the loo. My phone was ringing hot from people who had never been to a rugby game, wanted to tell me about the game they watched for the first time on television. Those are remarkable breakthrough moments for the sport in New Zealand, not for the women's sport, for the sport full stop. The boys united the fans in the stands. Dame Heniwehe Mohi has been a visionary, so it's no surprise that it was from her mind that the vision of the poi came through. And I think that that's maybe going to be maybe one of the lasting images of this event and the taonga we have now for future women's events. So I wouldn't be surprised to see them popping up uh, at the FIFA World Cup next year. To look into the stand and see something that's so reflective culturally of who we are, something that's so fun, something that people can do to show their support. But in the end, it came down to the players and all their mahi. The authenticity is what sells the sport. It's what sells them as people. It's what attracts us to them as athletes. Long may it continue. Tell me that you're not going to have sponsors knocking around, sniffing on that door. I'm sure there's more than a couple of people have to open up that checkbook and write one for the Black Ferns right now. Do they deserve a bonus? My ace, they deserve a bonus. They have captured the imagination, not just of New Zealand, but of the world. The joy, the celebration, the euphoria. This moment, perhaps summing it up best. They said nobody cared about women's rugby, but guess what? We out here. We out here, fam. We going nowhere. New Zealand, catch a bit here, Quinn. Do that on my <laughs> We've got goosebumps and tears all over yeah. again, and I'm very excited to welcome to the show Ruby Tui. <laughs> Amazing. Everything that you and the team did over the weekend, amazing. Um, how are you feeling, though? Have you recovered? <laughs> um, yes, look, honestly, Kanoa, you in particular, but the whole project, um, you've always supported our team and supported women's rugby, so I wanted to come here tonight um, to say thank you. It all, it all counts, it all matters, and um, you yeah, got the dove, got the world championship, so thank you. <laughs> um, we still... We're still celebrating, to be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, 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 been, um, it's been awesome. Oh, there's a few of us still going, but... Um, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Stay, stay on the line. We really want to talk to you. I mean, it's Patty here. Can you give us one highlight from the last 48 hours? What's been happening since you became champion? So what's the highlight of these celebrations? Oh, good question. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but the, the girls are outside like, what are you up to? I'm on TV, guys. <laughs> 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 I've got to go let them in. But, um, 
highlights probably just been the support from absolutely everyone. I don't know if you've seen, but Jacinda Ardern came in um, for dinner. She just invited herself. <laughs> we couldn't get rid of her. Um, <laughs> um, Dame Valley Adams came, gave us our jerseys. And then just our phones have just been blowing up with everyone, like my, um texting um, the 660 boys, you know, they want to come and um, say thanks. Like everyone's just been so, so amazing. And, like, I don't know, it feels like we all won. I don't know, do you guys feel like you won too? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we feel like we won. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, Ruby, seconds before the oh, yeah, end of that game, it didn't feel like that. Were you like us when England got that last line out? Were you like, oh, no, they're going to do it again? Well, you didn't have to be a genius to guess their play. Um, <laughs> so definitely got to be a line out more. But um, there, there was a, it was actually in the other half, our Ford stopped one. Like, I don't know if you remember, but in the other half, going the other way, for the first time in the whole competition, our Ford fully stopped them all, turned it over, and then we... Mm. That, do you know who it is? It's Aisha Leti Yanga blowing up my phone right now. <laughs> uh, they, they stopped the mall and turned it over. And so uh, when, I, when we did that, I was like, whoa, like we're, this is, we're in here. And so when we got that last one, I knew all we had to do. Oh, bro. Can, so, Kanoa, can you text Aisha and tell us what to do? I knew all we had to do get was off. do that one more time. Get off. She's busy. Get off. <laughs> yeah. And so it was, I, I don't know why. I thought we all talked about it afterwards. It was like we knew, like we just had this, we just... We just knew, you know, like if you have a feeling you just know you're going to win something or you know you can, oh, wow. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get it. Hey, can you see? <laughs> <laughs> okay, these are live pictures of Ruby Tui going to let her teammates. Okay, we'll let her alone. <laughs> Ruby, did, uh, did you celebrate too early when you won that line out? Because you still had a couple of seconds to play. I think we got some footage of you. I think you kind of went off before. <laughs> Or the final whistle of blood. Where's Ruby? Okay, she is running across the field. Every <laughs> when I coach, I always say, don't ever do that. Like, wait till the final whistle. But she, mother caught it. They knocked it on. I knew that. It was it. Like, you know, like, the game, it was over. Like, even if they got the ball back, it didn't matter. And so, never do that, fam. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. But it was just, oh, it was just such a the dream best. come true, guys. Honestly, hey, bef- thank you, New Zealand, man. Thank you. Before you go, any tips for getting red colouring out of your hair? Just ask for a friend. <laughs> no tips for getting it out, because I don't want to get it out anytime soon. But I will say, you might need to find a laundry mat, because... Your towels, your sheets, <laughs> your pillowcases, <laughs> done for. Done for. It's Rude. all worth it. It's all worth it to celebrate you and the team of the Black Ferns. Ruby Tui, Legend. thank you. Go celebrate. <laughs> Never done a bad interview. <laughs> Ruby too has never done a bad, so uninteresting interview. Yeah, I think we just got rubied. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, one thing we didn't get to talk about, but we have been talking about behind the scenes at the project, is where's this bonus for our black ferns, right? <laughs> and we've been doing a little bit of back of the envelope calculations. So I think the All Blacks each got 150,000 per player in 2015 when yep. they won. So yep. we thought, okay, let's start there. Plus the black Black Ferns have won six World Cups, so we really should times that by six. That's 900,000. Inflation, we'll have to add that. Mm. Some of the players had to take time off work, so five weeks. Let's call that five, five, four. Uh, and let's be fair, add 10% of the ticket, take 210,000 divided by 32 players, $37,812.50. Of course, we're not going to go too crazy, so we've got to take off 10% for the gender pay gap. Yeah. Uh, which brings us to a grand total of $1,455,860.78. Also, Ruby Tui gave in medal to that little girl, so can we just chuck in 275 bucks to get her a new one? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Thanks, Mark Robinson, New Zealand Rugby. (laughs) 